Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my weeks 27 and 28 pregnancy update and I'll probably end up doing a 29 a week update as well just because I have a lot coming up this week in terms of a baby. But today I'm 28 weeks, one day pregnant and time is speeding up on me. I feel like every time I see a new week turn and I get closer and closer and the countdown's getting closer, I think I'm less than like... 12 weeks now or 11 weeks in a couple days I don't know but that number is starting to freak me out I'm starting to think oh my gosh I have nothing ready I mean I have his nursery but I don't have a mattress and he, babies don't sleep in their nursery for like the first couple months don't have a car seat I'm like starting to freak out thinking I am not prepared for this baby at all and stressing me out I've been getting really stressed out so my emotions have kind of been on the edge this past two weeks I've been really stressed out I've just cried randomly I've just been freaking out I've just yeah I've been kind of emotional to say the least but not too bad I hope I don't know there's just some random things so let's just put it this way we um if you have haven't already seen I did like a baby haul nursery sneak peek video. I'll link it down below for you guys who are interested in seeing a sneak peek in our baby boy's nursery. And after that we went and we went to Lowe's yesterday to get uh, some curtains and curtain rod for it. So I feel like I picked out the curtain rods. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. And then as soon as we paid and checked out, I had buyer's remorse. And I was freaking out the whole time in the car, stressing out. Oh my gosh, I got the wrong curtain rods. Really a curtain rod I was freaking out about. So I um, was freaking out. My husband's like, just see how it looks. Just bring it into the nursery and see how it looks. It looks fine, guys. It looks really good. I mean, it's not like amazing, but it's not bad. So we are going to keep the curtain rods, but it's just like little things like that I'm starting to freak out about and like overanalyze and all that kind of stuff. And I know it's because like I want everything to kind of be perfect and fall into place and have everything ready, but you don't need much for when you bring the baby home, but you do need a car seat. So I'm like stressing out about the car seat situation. So that is something I need to figure out and or buy in the next couple weeks really soon. Um, some other kind of symptoms other than just like moodiness and stressing out emotional kind of stuff. Um, my stomach has definitely been growing more. I've been noticing my stomach is getting more itchy. I definitely feel more pulling on my stomach or stretching, um, tightening, but not like a Braxton Hick or like contraction anything like that but it's definitely been a little bit more tightening and itchy um I definitely have had like more of a stuffy nose the past two weeks I don't know if it is a symptom really of pregnancy or what I haven't had a cold or anything like that but I did notice my nose was stuffy and then another kind of funny symptom is it is hard to get in and out of booths at a restaurant so you guys know like you can have a booth or a table I am now picking table or I have to be on the end of the booth because this belly cannot slide into a booth anymore, especially the ones that you have to go around a corner. Yeah, this belly can't do it. So that is kind of a funny symptom that I've been noticing relatively recently. Um, let me show you guys the bump and then I'll get into other things with the baby, like labor classes and stuff like that. So this is, let's see if you can see. This is the bump at 28 weeks. For clothes, what I'm wearing right now is a pink blush maternity top and some Target um, Liz Lang maternity leggings, I believe. I think that's what they are. I have definitely been wearing a lot more maternity clothes lately. A majority of the time when I'm around the house, I'll be wearing Victoria's Secret yoga pants, the fold-over kind, and just kind of one of my maternity uh, short sleeves or long sleeves. That's kind of been my basics. And then every now and then I do have a couple pink blush maternity tops that my mom gave me for Christmas. So I've been wearing those off and on as well. So talking more about the labor classes. So we were supposed to technically have had two already, but because last week it snowed here in North Carolina, they rescheduled it for the next next week, if that makes sense. It's a three week class. You have two and a half hours with a nurse that actually is working at the hospital. And what's great is the labor class is at the hospital. So we have only been to one class so far, but it was very beneficial for us. They kind of talked about kind of symptoms for early labor, what you can do, what you can prevent, 
things like that. They gave us kind of a hospital tour of when we check in, where do we go, and then when we go upstairs, where we go and where our actual like delivery room is, which was really nice. We really, really enjoy our hospital so far that we have seen. We still will go on like the last class day to where like mommy and baby room is like after you give birth where your kind of family room is I guess that's what it's called not your delivery room but your other room um, we haven't seen that yet I know it's a lot smaller but the delivery room for our hospital is really nice has a huge shower that you can use they have a lot of different amenities and stuff that come with it as well as things you can pay extra for if you want laughing gas that is actually a pain medicine thing or way to cope with your pain at my hospital I don't think I'm going to be using the laughing gas but it is something kind of neat that our hospital does provide and all that kind of stuff so there was like really it was really nice to go in see what it looks like see what kind of amenities they have and what they like already have stocked in the room that you don't need to bring so that's definitely helpful I definitely recommend you guys check out your hospital tour if you guys already know what hospital you are going to deliver in I would definitely take a hospital tour and just visit it see exactly where you're gonna park where you're gonna go things like that so then we also learned about the stages of early labor or going into labor I guess and what you look for before you come into the hospital so your contractions need to be um, five minutes apart a minute long in length for at least an hour I believe I might have got that wrong, but I have a book I need to read downstairs. Um, so things like that, what you need to check for if your water breaks. Um, when your water breaks, you need to come in. Just kind of different little tidbits like that that is interesting. It was really fun to meet everybody in the class. There was like eight couples, but only seven showed because the eighth couple, I think, we're, we're pretty sure had her baby because she was due January 28th. So... I would assume she probably had her baby by then, but it was really cool to meet all the different um, couples that were giving birth around our time, as well as a little couple months before or after, but a lot of people seem to be having their babies like on the same schedule as we are, so that was really fun to just talk to them and see like if they felt their babies kick, things like that, so that was fun. Um, then this week on Wednesday, I don't know when I'm posting this, filming on Monday, um, this week we are going to learn about ways of coping with labor and what happens with like transition, all that kind of stuff. So we're supposed to bring pillows and a yoga mat to do some exercises. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but that is for Wednesday. And then the next week is our last class and that's where we learn when the baby comes, what happens. What do they do with it? What are our different options? Things like that. So that is next week. And then this week as well, so that our class is on Wednesday. Thursday I have my big diabetes test, so or glucose test. So it's Thursday morning. I'm so nervous about it. Um, I don't wear my rings because my hands do swell up every now and then. Not to the point where I really can't take off my ring, but to the point it's kind of uncomfortable to take off my rings. So I don't wear my rings anymore. I'm a little nervous about the diabetes thing because I love sugar so much. I'm not worried about the taste of the drink or actually taking the drink. I'm just worried that I may actually have diabetes. So we'll see my results on that and I'll update you guys with that as well. And of course Wednesday is my food truck day where I have my favorite cupcake food truck coming and I really want a cupcake but I figured having a cupcake the night before you take a glucose test probably not the best idea but I'll get it to go kind of thing and eat it after if I don't have diabetes. Cross your fingers I can have a cupcake. So then on Saturday, we have another baby class. We have the breastfeeding class that is offered by our hospital. And um, me and my husband will be going to that. It's about a three hour class in the afternoon. So we're excited for that as well. So that is kind of what is going on this week. There is a lot of stuff baby wise happening. Next week is also my baby shower. So I'm really excited for that and to see all my friends and family and just kind of get together before the baby comes. It's just 
a good time. I have a couple things I've picked up for our little baby boy and I figured you guys may be interested in seeing kind of like a haul. So at Target they had one of those Aiden and Anais baby blanket or baby swaddles and so this one is like a star. It has some blue and gray stars to it. I love the way this looks and feels. I think it's a muslin one. Not sure, but it is one of the Aiden and Anais swaddles, so I'm excited to have one of these. I also have one of the swaddle design swaddles as well. So I figured these would be great for swaddling your baby as well as a blanket, a car seat cover. You could do pretty much anything with this, so I'm excited to have one of these. And they're actually way bigger than I thought they were going to be, so that's awesome. And that was, yeah, at Target, like in the clearance section. Then we also got a curtain for the window. We got one of those like blackout kind of curtains. So we got that. It's kind of like a tan navy with some white in there and then some brown curtain rods. Then from Target we picked up the Newbie Icy Bite Gels or Icy Bite Keys Keep Soothing Teethers. And I've just been picking up like $10 randomly from Amazon whenever I order like cat food, dog food, things like that. So we had that. I also, I think it was Rach Loves Life. She is a YouTuber here, or Rach Loves on YouTube. She does a lot of beauty, but she also has like a family channel as well. And she recommended baby paper. And this is what baby paper is. It's basically like crinkly paper that they can play with. They also say that babies can see better in black and white as well as stripes. So I figured this would be fun to hand to him and have him kind of play with. He can chew if he wants. I believe this is machine washable. Yep, wash on gentle cycle with light colors and you can tumble dry it. So I thought this would be pretty cute. I think it was like two, three dollars. Then I picked up a baby a brush and comb set. Figured when he has his little baby hairs that I'll be able to brush it with this. I don't know if this is like a really good brush or anything, but I found it and I thought, what the hey, I'll pick it up. It was like a couple dollars as well. And then the last thing we have picked, I have another one of these on my registry as well. This is the Munchkin Pacifier Wipes. And this has natural cleaning with baking soda and it's like a safe, quick clean for their pacifiers, bottles, any teething toys like that. So if you were to drop it on the floor, I'd be able, like in public, I'd be able to wipe it away. So I want one of these packs in both of me and my husband's diaper bags. My husband wants his own diaper bag, which kind of makes sense because a woman's diaper bag normally has like her wallet, car keys, things like that. So if my husband grabbed my diaper bag and left with the baby, I'd be stranded. So I want to get one of these for both of our diaper bags. So I picked up one. But yeah, that is kind of my update for weeks 27, 28. Overall, I've been feeling pretty good. I have been getting more recently tired. Just I feel like I'm just so exhausted. I'll sleep in and then I'll wake up and just want to take naps and stuff all day. I've just been getting more tired. I definitely have been feeling him move like crazy. So much so that it gets distracting. Like in my outfit, there's all these flowers and stuff. So like while I was working today, I was like typing, right? And all of a sudden I see like this flower move. And I'm like, I know it's him kicking and moving around in there. But it's so weird that now I can see my stomach do the wave or just kind of twitch. It's just... Pretty cool, but pretty weird at the same time. So he has definitely been moving like crazy. Um, he hasn't really been mov moving so much like right before bed or right when I wake up anymore. It's kind of throughout the day, which is awesome. Maybe I'm getting him on a good sleep cycle where he's awake during the day and asleep at night. Cross your fingers for me, guys. But yeah, that is kind of my update for this past two weeks. I do plan on updating you guys next week on just kind of all the stuff that goes on for the rest of this week. I was debating on doing this more towards the end of the week, but I'll just fill you guys in next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to stay up with more updates on this little one in my pregnancy, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!